So what exactly is the API gateway pattern and why is it so important in modern application architecture? Let's break it down in plain English. Imagine you are building an e-commerce platform. You've got separate services for users, products, orders and payments, each handling its own job. Your front end, maybe it's a website or a mobile app, needs to talk to all of them to make the app work. The front end has to get product data, authenticate users, place orders and process payments. Now without an API gateway, the front end would have to call each of those services directly. That means knowing multiple URLs, handling different request formats, dealing with different OAuth tokens and managing all that logic right in the client, that's a mess. It creates tight coupling between your front end and all your back end services. Every time a service changes, your front end has to change too. That's where the API gateway comes in. The API gateway acts like a smart middleman. It sits between your front end and all your back end microservices. Instead of calling each service directly, the client talks to the gateway. And the gateway takes care of routing the request to the right service. But it does more than just forwarding traffic. It can handle authentication, transform request, apply rate limits, log traffic and even cache responses. It becomes a centralized layer of control for all communication coming into your system. Let's go back to that e-commerce example to see how this works in action. Say a customer opens your app, they browse the catalog, log in, add items to their cart and check out. Here's what's really happening under the hood when you have an API gateway in place. First the front end sends a login request to the gateway. The gateway forwards it to the user service which checks credentials and returns a token. Next the customer browses products. The front end sends a request like slash API slash products. The gateway knows that this should go to the product service so it routes the request accordingly. Maybe even adding a security header or logging the user ID for tracing. Later when the customer checks out the front end makes a single call to slash API slash checkout. But the gateway knows that this action involves multiple services, the cart, the inventory, the order and the payment. So the gateway either coordinates those requests or hands them off to a back end for front end service that does. From the client's perspective, everything is simple and clean. Just one domain to call, one token to manage, one API contract to worry about and if something changes behind the scenes like the order service gets a new version or the payment service moves to another port, the client doesn't need to care, the gateway handles it all. Another key benefit of the API gateway pattern is security. Since all external traffic passes through a single point, you can enforce consistent authentication and authorization. You can add SSL termination, token validation, IP whitelisting, all without writing that logic in every service. And because the gateway sees all traffic, it's the perfect place to add monitoring, tracing or request logs. That's critical when something goes wrong and you need to track down what happened. Now of course the API gateway itself becomes a critical piece of infrastructure. If it goes down, nothing gets in. So it has to be resilient, fast and well monitored. And you need to avoid putting too much business logic into the gateway. Keep it focused on routing and cross-cutting concerns, not core service logic. So to wrap this up, the API gateway pattern solves a major challenge in distributed systems. It simplifies communication between clients and backend services, centralizes control, improves security and gives you flexibility as your system grows. In any serious microservices architecture, especially in e-commerce where you have multiple moving parts, the API gateway isn't just helpful, it's essential. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.